NHS England, we've been working on our plans for the provision of mental health services for children and young people. We've worked with service providers, commissioners and children with the help of young minds to help us plan the right services in the right place to treat our service users. That means not just thinking about the total number of beds available, but where those beds are. We may move some beds from areas where there are more than enough to places that need extra beds, so the change is led by the needs of the communities involved. The aim is to reduce the travel time for service users, so they're not in hospital anywhere too far from home, making it easier for families and carers to keep in touch and to organise discharge. For beds that cater for less common problems, like a combination of different disorders, we'll make sure these beds are located centrally. As well as changing the distribution of beds, we want to join up hospital treatments with community-based therapies, like counselling or psychotherapy. Ideally, we want to reach patients sooner to prevent admissions in the first place, as well as preventing admissions that aren't clinically appropriate. And, when young people are admitted, we'll try to make sure the stay is as short as possible to help keep families together during difficult times. So we'll better integrate community and inpatient services to make accessing treatment much easier. That means services working closer together to support young people when they need it most. All of this will help services improve over time so we can meet needs of patients earlier. Our priority for children and adolescent mental health services is the physical and mental well-being of our service users. We believe these plans will help us keep young people well by delivering the best care in the right place at the right time.